Are we gonna yeah. feed the people who are alive now? There's people who are hungry out there. That's being taken care of. Living in mental illness and poverty, abstract poverty, yep. and domestic violence. Why do we care about the new, the unborn? And then why do we care about? Most people the don't. Do we do about these people that are hungry? Most people don't care about the pre-born. That's why we're doing this. Are you gonna buy the homeless people food? There are people taking care of the homeless people. I buy them a lot, food a lot all of the them. Time. It's great. That's wonderful. Keep doing that. Yeah, I don't see you buying the homeless. But I see you complaining about, you know, a pre-born or little partial little babies that aren't even born yet. So what's wrong with what I'm doing? But, uh, I how believe. Can, I how believe can we in care God. about born people when we don't even care about people that are, yeah, that but, are completely innocent? Yeah, but they're, they're not even, they don't have the developed brains that I do. You should care So about it's okay to murder them life. then? We're okay. not murdering them. We are. That's, well, what do you think this is? What do you think that is? But it doesn't have a full brain yet. So it's okay to murder them? Of course it's okay to murder them. Is it okay to murder you? No, but those are Why? not, those aren't human beings. They are. You, you're telling me that's not a human being? Look at that. What about the women who struggle sir, with sir, rape sir, and incest? Sir, look, so you can see these are human beings. My mom was women raped struggle. and stuff too. Yeah, she's decided to carry me full term yeah. despite the trauma and I'm a good better person so my mom yeah. went through that trauma and she, you know she put that aside for my life so uh -huh. can't say that either yeah but there's some yeah. women who really shouldn't have kids they don't have the money so they should murder my their mom children too, but yeah. she's supposed to give me up for adoption so you can't you, use you that put excuse it in such, either you put it in such stark language well, what, what do you mean, murder? Why do you care so much about the unborn? Because most people don't, and, and because God commands us to love these children. These are our neighbors. I know, but he doesn't say anything about abortion in the Bible. He does. I, it's I called child, child sacrifice. Yep, and, he's, and, he's, child sacrifice. and he says, you shall not murder, and this is murder. So he speaks about it. But well, there's so many more important things to worry about than, Such as? than the unborn. Such as? Dude, like, what are we going to do about the economy a lot of people are working on the economy. People are struggling, surviving. What about these children? They're, they're struggling. They're, I know people who work in the tip industry, the tip well, wages. Well, I have a different opinion. Not about the economy. I don't think our government exactly, at least the state government, is too concerned about our economy, in my opinion. Just saying. Well, when, when you just passed a $2.2 trillion dollar I can, um, economic stimulus bill, the biggest in American history, yep. when we're already $25 trillion in debt, yeah, what, what does that say about our government? They don't. Our debt. You know, we need to help the people who are hungry, who can't pay their rent. Yeah, there, there are a lot of people we doing that. People who can't they're pay they're their hungry rent. for the Lord. That's yeah. the way to feed them with everlasting bread. There, there is people give out there in churches that reach out to the Lord. Yeah, that's been, it's being done. Everlasting life. This life is only temporary. Well, you don't want people to be suffering. You want people to be happy while they're here. Well, not happy if they're on their way to hell. No. How can they be happy when they're on their way to hell? Well, when they're going to be suffering. Tremendously for eternity. Yeah. Keep concerned about the afterlife and the preborn. Why don't we talk about like the people who are alive right now? They were alive before they were murdered. Because this is temporary. Uh -huh. This life is only temporary. Uh -huh. So why would we worry about just a temporary life when we have hope in the resurrection? Oh, I have hope in But I, I surely don't. I surely don't talk about the unborn and the afterlife when I want to focus on people who are alive right now. What we can do to have a better society for people. On earth right now. Well, do, do you think that we can have a better society when we murder thousands of people, innocent people, every day? So people shouldn't have kids. So it's, it's okay to murder them? Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a that's a tough one. I, I believe that, uh, you know, the kids, I mean, the kids, the young people there, they're just, they're right, they shouldn't have sex, but that's hard to tell them no, man. That's hard. It's no, just tell them no. I, 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 I didn't grow up as a Christian. That's forcing it on them. I didn't grow up as a Christian and I never had sex. It's possible. It can be done. Yeah, you never had sex. Why didn't you have sex when you were young? Because I was quiet. But what, regardless, of the, regardless of the reason, it's possible to grow up not, not even in a Christian household and be a virgin, not have sex. And I know people think that is taboo. But it is possible. It, yeah, it's possible because I, I did it. You better not have sex before you're married. I think yeah, absolutely. You have to have sex and Are you married now? You no, sir. I'm, I'm single. So a virgin? Yes. By God's grace. Very, very thankful for it. But there, are, there are people that will, that have mocked me or laughed at me when I told them that I've never had sex. Why? I think that's admirable. A lot of people don't because they're in rebellion against God. Yeah, they're, they're, well, no, yeah they they just they want to have purpose. They want to have sex. You know, it's, just, it's an urge they have, and they they feel that you know they can't control their hormones. Or their hormones can't. Are they can. They just choose not to. Their hormones are controlling. Well, there's something you guys agree on. There. <laughs> What's that? There's something you guys kind of agree on that one. 
you having, you know, having saying you're Adam for that. Where did you guys get those pictures anyway? I've never seen pictures like that. You guys just yeah. on the internet or something? You never seen the, you never seen the murdered preborn before? Well, I've never seen pictures like that. So I've seen some bad Where did you get those like that, man? They're like from medical doctors. Medical doctors. Huh? They they would go in inside like years ago. They'd go inside abortion mills. What is that Undercover. anyway? It looks like an alien. Yeah. Is that like a? It's kid? a little boy. It's, like a, it's a, a little boy. So what happened to him? Why does he look like that? Well, after he got sucked out. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he was born and then they crushed his head to get his head out. Oh, okay. So he was born out of the. And how old is that fetus? That's a second trimester. Second trimester. So we're talking like six months. Or something? I think that's third. This child, this child's much younger, but they're both human beings. And you can see the child's arms, legs, head, hands, that's a, that's feet. That's first trimester abortion. Right, about that's the first trimester. 11 to 12 weeks. Wow. Well, at least they didn't suffer that long. They're only three months. Just think if you suffered your whole life like that. Yeah, but if you suffer your whole life, it's only by your own choice. Right. Because... Well, yeah, because that's we're debatable. All, it's we're by all your suffering choice. without the Lord. Yeah, and if you, some people just don't find God. Well, they, they, they can if we proclaim it to them. Yeah, I, I know, because I, I deal with that a lot, all the time. Does that mean we're immune? Can you even ask Christians that we're immune to suffering? The Bible actually declares the opposite. What? The Bible promises tribulation to those who, who fear God, the, those who are actually saved. So why are you guys doing this again? Because we're living in a holocaust. Because we're Christians and God has shown us this holocaust we live in. And... And he's put in, into us that he saved us, and we know that there are people that are on their way to hell. Most yeah. people, and we need. And if we love people, yeah. then we have to warn them, oh, okay. even if they don't want to be warned. And most people don't want to be warned. Okay. But if we truly love people, right. then since we have the, we have been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ, we've been right. saved. We don't want we, we don't want anyone these people to die and go to hell, including any of you. How is this well, because this is the greatest injustice in our culture, in our world today. You don't want people to have abortion, basically. Well, g g I mean... Even if they're in desperate times, desperate times. My mom was desperate. She kept me. Are you glad she kept you? Yes, I am. There's no reason to murder an innocent yep. child. Because she could have... It would be like going over to... There's no reason to go to war and fight wars, either, you know? I mean, she, she was raped yeah, killing them, but she chose to keep there's me a lot of war and then give me up for adoption. So you can't say there's not a good option. Yeah, there's lots of wars. A lot of ungodly people around that the Lord just wants to yeah. wipe off the face of the earth. Yeah, that's, that's not for us to know why. But. Well, the, the, it comes down to regarding abortion, the sixth commandment of the law of God that's written on, on all of our hearts your heart, your heart, my heart. The, the sixth commandment says, You shall not murder. It does not include any exceptions. You shall not murder. This is murder, therefore, this, this is a violation. Does that, include, like, does that include soldiers who are ordered to murder by their government? Well, the. Yeah, I mean, I, I know that I know that that happens, and yeah, they should not murder. Period. I just want to know if that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, that, I I haven't studied that thoroughly, but I know it happens, and 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 it's evil, yeah. and I know our government does evil things. I mean, including this. This is the most evil thing that that our government well, does. Going to war, the war, the war, war is war 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 like war 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 I mean, what about like when the, I know that now they've shut down the church. Yes, they have. We still meet. We still meet. Just, just not. We don't. Um, I don't. I don't meet in a building because it was shut down. All right. So you guys just do this uh, separately. Uh, well, we do it together, but but we we do like I, I fellowship with other Christians and because I I don't I don't bow down to tyranny to this government mental tyranny and and we still have a First Amendment. The Wisconsin State Constitution yeah. says that the right to peacefully yeah. assemble. Shall never be abridged. Yeah. So I, so we're not breaking any. I'm not saying you're, you're saying that, but a, a contrary to what people think or say, we're not breaking any law. We're actually upholding the law. <laughs> well, people think we are. Well, I would. You just you, you give the message, and people hear it, and they, if they reject it, that's their choice. If they accept it, that's their choice. And we have a duty. Like when I was when I was growing up as a pagan. I don't recall ever any Christians reaching out to me, giving me a track, preaching to me on a megaphone. I don't recall one time that ever happened. 
And that's sad. Because some Christians, not all Christians, put their nose out like they're better. Well, some do, of it is. Some Christians do that. But I mean, do you think we're doing that? No, you guys aren't, but some other that's saying some. Yeah. Unfortunately, that might that might have been part of the reason. Maybe you were struggling and thought you were beyond belief with her. What's that? Some Christians might have thought back then you were beyond saving, so they were stopped off or whatever. Some yeah, I mean, very judgmental. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. The opposite. And I know how people perceive what we're doing. I don't really care. I just I just do what the Lord has me to do. Same. And I just, I tell people like I grew up in the public school system. I don't recall ever one Christian giving me a gospel track or telling me about Christ ever. Because a lot of public schools don't like the How did you get reborn? Well, the, well, the, 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 well, the, the, but the students can, the teachers may not. Well, but been students that have done it in the, the school district. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. And I never, and I never, I never heard the gospel. I. Um, well, what was your question? How did you, you get reborn? Well. About 15 or so years ago, the uh, the Lord just turned my life upside down. He brought me to repentance, and no, no, I, I just I, I started being convicted about my sins, my, my foul language, and all the all the stuff I was involved in that I knew what violated God's law. And I threw I threw out all my rock and roll, my rock and roll T-shirts, posters, video games, movies, and. And the Lord just took my foul language out of my mouth like that. Wow, Without me trying. I didn't try. Wow. He just took my foul language out. Foul language was a big was It was big gone. One. That was the big one? Well, that, that, was, that was one that I noticed. Like, I'd say within a year, maybe even months, I just noticed that I, don't care, I didn't curse anymore. I'd always cursed. And I, and I came from a family that cursed. So I know a lot of people, even Christians, that struggle with that. They don't get it right away. Right away. So you're, a, you're quite a testimony. Well... The Lord took that away from me um, soon, but there are other things that, that I still struggle with even to this day. You know, like, you know, in my mind and in my practices. Well, thank you for being honest and not like you're holier than thou, you're willing to be honest. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> well, I tell people often in my preaching that I'm no better than anybody out here. The only difference is that I have Christ, Christ has saved me, and m many people, if not most, they don't. That doesn't mean I'm better, because I know, I know I'm not. I, I tell people, I know myself too well to know I'm I'm not holier than no, I'm not better, I'm, and I, I like I don't do this because I'm better than anybody because I'm not. I. What changed your mind? What makes you? What makes you? Well, I, I I saw I saw other Christians um, and not many do this, unfortunately. But I saw other Christians do what we're doing, and on where, video on on YouTube. Where, 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 I, why did it change? You? Uh, Maybe a couple years ago or so, I, I saw on YouTube and Facebook Christians doing this, and I just thought I was already going to abortion mills they, where they murder babies. I did, I've been doing that for like for many many years, and was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going there to speak up on behalf of these children, and I uh, I just saw Christians on YouTube and Facebook doing this, and I was thinking I can do that. I, I was thinking first, that's awesome what they're doing. And then I'm like, I was thinking, I can do that. I have the availability, and I, I can go out there. And and it, but that flies in the face of my personality because I'm quiet. I'm I'm reserved. I'm an introvert. I used to be a lot worse. But God just He put such conviction upon me that I had to go out, even though part of me didn't want to. So I went out by myself with a sign. Why abortion? Well, because this is the the greatest evil and injustice in our culture, where. We, we take a certain people group like we did in slavery and we target them for murder. And like the, the other things like helping the homeless, feeding the poor. What's that? That statement you just made. What's that? What we do. The government does. The government does with our tax dollars. They do. They find ways around They do. The, the federal government is not funding any abortions now. They just with the Hyde Amendment. Back they give um, Planned Parenthood five hundred million dollars a year. Last year it was over six hundred. Money for abortion. They have to use other money for abortion. They, they, but it's important it's for women to have reproductive health care. You're finding little. Women need reproductive yeah. health care. And if saying, abortion yeah. happens to be one of those <laughs> options for women, you know, they have the right to use their own bodies the way they want to use them. It's their body. You know? Well, this I isn't this isn't their body. body. You can't force somebody to do it. You want them to do as a man. You don't know what women go through. With well, here, here's a question for you. Yeah. 
and and this could happen it could happen today the lord knows but and just to bring it more home to you make it more real if someone were to come over here with a knife and and, and start trying to you know slash our throats or with a gun and start shooting yep. would would you expect any, would happens. you expect any of us to intervene or just to like it's not my body so what it's would you expect to happen, but what if it, but it, it, it does happen but what if, if it did happen what what, what, what would you it think nothing to do with the board. Uh, well, hold on, hold on. If it happened, yeah. what would you think of any of us if we just stood by and said, it's not our body, it's not a problem, so what, what would you think some of us? Some people would stand by, some people would fight, or would stand up for them and try and help them. But would you be just disappointed if we just stood here and, and watched and did nothing? Yeah, I Virginia, just don't see how that's an analogy towards the board. Well, because this is murder, and that would be murder. And and this goes on thousands. Murder what they did to that young lady. People aren't intentionally Something murdering. Like that. They are. Like they are. Women go through so much. They're not victims. They they know what they're doing. I know because we we go to murder these abortion mills all the time. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we and we see them go in. So you want to force women to have the kid? They already have the kid. You want to you want to force them to have the kid come out of their freaking you know vagina, right? Well, is it a better alternative to murder the child? What? So not all women. Should his mother have murdered him? Should my mother have murdered me? Yeah. My mom actually you, would have had a valid reason, but she didn't. It's just what, murder? It's still murder. It's still murder. It's not going to work. Okay, yeah, so it's murder. Okay, it's murder. But what about the women, you know, who are raped or have incest? Like or maybe they're just in a yep. really tough, dire So you're ju are you justifying yeah. murdering him? Yeah, because well, you my mom, so you're justifying right? murdering me. Is my taking mom a wrong action yeah. to make it right, to answer. Or how does the wrong action make it right? Well, obviously he's pretty much saying sense. I should have been murdered. How is Basically, yes. Is writing or wrong? Just because someone was raped. Because sins in my mouth. Kill an innocent? That's really nice. That baby is an innocent. <laughs> that life, once it's, once it's conception, yeah. it's a unique gene code, man. Yep. Sir, so can at that point in time, how is it not different than any other life? I understand someone went through some trauma, but to rectify that trauma, is it okay to murder another human being? Well, they don't look at it like that. What, what, what's, oh, your what, 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 what's your name? What's your name? Kevin. Kevin. He was raped. Can you can you can you tell Kevin that he should have been murdered to his face? What if you were raped? If you were raped. 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 You Put yourself in that person's shoes. Why don't you have empathy and put yourself in the person's shoes? Can put you yourself in the woman's shoes. Put yourself. How can I not have empathy? Can you can you tell Kevin right here? Because you can't put yourself. He knows I'm right. That's why he's ignoring you. You've never so been raped. You. I've never been raped. How do you know I've never been raped? How can you say that? How can you say I've never been raped? How can you say that? Is it me? How can you say I've never been raped? Yep. Exactly. How can you say that? I don't care. So they have. my point is. I should go kill every somebody else because somebody else might have raped me or whatever. I should do that. Do I should take it out on someone totally innocent because I got raped. That That's what you're doing to, to that do baby that is created. Nothing. That is what you were doing to the baby that is created. Like you were taking murder out on an innocent life. Mm -hmm. On something that should be taken out on the person that raped you. Not the life that was created. I just disagree. Can you tell Kevin to his face that he should have been murdered? Yeah, because my mom was raped, but she kept me. See, that's what no, he's saying. I should have been murdered. You're telling Kevin he should have been murdered. Murder is murder. yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's basically what he's saying. That I should have been murdered because my mom chose to Does it make it hard for you to face it when it's someone right in front of you? Yeah, that's actually, yeah, you're not looking at me because I'm a real living thing. Murder is murder. Surviving. Take it on the life. You don't like that, does he? It's the real okay, thing right here. Turn it on the light switch, turn it on. There's different ways to die. It's on and You turn that light switch on, is it on? Okay. You turn the light switch on, it's on, right? Yep. When you turn it off, it's on. Murder is murder, bro. There are all kinds of different ways people die. Are you? Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, obviously, like it's on. You purposely kill another life, that is murder. Yeah. yeah. You're not a woman. Well, his his mother was a woman, and she chose not to murder him. Yeah, because she was raped, but she chose me. So you're basically saying I shouldn't be on this earth because she chose to keep me. Well, well, you, know, you know what? You're, 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 you're uh, 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 a bomb. 
you know, did what she had to do, you know? She kept me. Right. So, so you're basically, what I'm getting is I shouldn't be here on earth because she chose to kept me and goes through the trauma even though she's right, but she took the, high, because she took the higher road, I shouldn't be here. Right. That's what I'm hearing. Well, you wouldn't okay, even know what it would be like not to be here. You can't look at the other things and say, oh, so you're basically you saying, know, I'm better because off my here, mom was raped, I'm, I'm not worth a human being. That's lovely. That's what I'm saying. You're saying it should have been murdered in the womb, yep. right? That's what you're justifying. Because my mom chose to That's, That's what you've been saying. Yep. <laughs> it, it makes it hard when someone's right in front of you. That it's easier to justify murder when the person's not standing in front of you. That could have been that statistic. So. And he was conceived in rape, and you're justifying murdering those people. Yep. And you were yeah. conceived in rape. Yes, I was. That's what he's been telling you for the last 20 yep. minutes. Yeah, but you didn't want to hear it. I was conceived in rape, but my mom wanted to chose to keep me. Right, right, right. So you're basically so telling you, me that you, I should have been kept because you. Are you in touch with your father? Do you what? have like a biological father that you obviously? No, but she, you know, she is right. She chose to carry me to term and give me up for adoption. So you're basically telling me I should. Did your father I leave your life when you were young? Did you know your father, your biological father? She, she was raped somehow, but I don't. That's not the point. The okay. point is she was raped and chose to keep me. So you're basically telling me I should be on this earth because she chose to keep me. I didn't I'm say you should be on this earth. Yes, basically. Oh, kind of yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. You're justifying murder and rape conceived children. Yep. You, you have been this whole time. And you, and you cannot own up to what you were justifying. Yep. I'm just going off what you said. You were justifying murdering certain people, including rape conceived children. He was conceived in rape, and you cannot own, own up to the fact that you think he should have been murdered in the womb. Right? Why would she murder her husband? What, what, what case are you talking about? Well, murders are different. Some of them are different than other well, This is the worst form of, form of murder. Because you're murdering a helpless human being who's committed no crime. Form of murder, really? Well, uh, uh, what is... I was right, so you're pretty much saying I should be here on Earth. Or my mom should have chose to keep you, even though she did. Yeah. See? That's basically what You don't want to know to it. Yeah. You're just fine murder, and you have a person conceived in rape standing right before you. And you don't like it, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So basically you're saying he's saying I'm not human. She's saying you weren't human in the womb, it's okay to murder you. Yeah. Can, can, consider, consider that. Yep. It's not about us being right and you wrong. It's not about that. It's just, cons just consider the reality of your belief being right before you. Yep. And there, and and he's and he's just one of many who have been conceived in rape and who weren't murdered in the womb. But you don't feel bad for so you feel bad for my mom to you, but you don't feel bad for me. That's lovely. There, there are Christians out there who who, who come. To go through, to be forced to go through with their pregnancy. My mom went through that and she chose to keep me, so that makes it really make me less human because I was a survivor of rape. Yeah, you know, rape and incest, that's a hell It's horrible, it is horrible. It is. But well, you can't say it's my fault, so you're basically saying it's my fault because my mom was raped. I don't think so. Your fault? You're basically saying I should be out here on this earth because my mom was raped. That's what you're saying. Well, his mom's convenience, he should have been murdered. Yep, that's what you're saying. You're saying he should have been murdered for his mom's community. Did that come out of my mouth? Yeah, I kind of did. You're saying he's a traumatization from the rape. She should be allowed to have an abortion. So yeah, you're saying effectively his mom should be murdered. Women should yeah, be exactly. allowed to have abortion if they're raped. Maybe his, his, his well, mother did. Well, they should be allowed to have an abortion. But how about this? Maybe he'd be allowed to be a child for murder at the same time. He's killing his kid. You know, women are going to find a way to have abortions no matter if you outlaw or not. You want people to have it with coat hangers, you want to have a safe abortion. I don't know, man. There's no such thing as a safe abortion. The child's murdered. That's not safe. There's safe abortions, and then there's ones where they These aren't the safe. Child, and that's much worse. Abortion's not safe. It's a murder of a baby. Where is it? Would you ask me to You can't ban abortion? alcohol. If you, we tried to ban alcohol. You, no, that's not, that's not it's murdering somebody. We tried to ban abortion. It's not murdering it's not somebody. somebody. It's not, alcohol is not murder. Yeah. You see, you guys are doing the same thing with me. You're making these analogies and stuff, but no, I'm no, making no, an analogy. No, I made an analogy with you earlier that were, that involved someone coming here and murdering us, and which someone stepping it, and someone stepping, someone coming to their defense. That's what we're doing for these children. What do you think the government? What do you think we should do in our laws and the Congress? You criminalize it. You you punish you, cr you punish abortion as murder, and those who commit murder, they get the death penalty. How are we going to enforce this? How are we going to enforce this? We can't enforce this. We can't enforce this. You sure you can? Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh, 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 o
And if you ca and if you catch him, then you put him to death for for murder. Well, you're not t you're not talking about murder. You're talking about alcohol. That's vastly different. It's not tough when you when you listen to the law of God. It's black. This is black. Thank you. This is black and white. A black and white issue.